Hey everyone, it's Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. I'm coming on tonight to share seven more completed cards that I've made using images from my fall winter release for River Snapper Designs. Uh, these cards will be sent over to the Creative Pals scrapbook store in Brookfield, Wisconsin, where they'll be up on display showing um, samples of the stamps that they sell in the store. And if you pop in there after the holidays, I'm sure there's going to be lots and lots of other samples for you to see and uh, showcasing the other stamps that they sell for Whippersnapper there. So um, let me go ahead and get started sharing some of the products that I used and then I'll share my finished cards as well. Um, so the first four cards that I have to share with you use um, little bits and pieces from this doodle, pa uh, doodle bug paper. I don't know what it's called, but um, it's really cute uh, colors and images. And this is pretty much the last of what I have from the paper pad. So there's a couple whole sheets here that I'll save, um, but then I'll probably put the rest of these little small pieces in my scrap bin here. So, um, but the first four cards used <laughs> paper from that. And I think I've um, done a pretty good job of killing that paper pad. Um, they also feature four different stamp images. So the first card uses this um, image here. It's called Inbound Cheer. And again, these are uh, some of my own illustrations for Whippersnapper Designs. And there's their website there at the bottom. But uh, this one is called Inbound Cheer. So it's a cute little chicken um, bringing in a uh, decorated tree with a present. And so when I stamped this image, um, I stamped it kind of at an angle, so it looked like she was going downhill. Um, and then when I colored the image, I added lots of little um, splashes of glitter there to make it look like she was really going fast down that hill. So you, I don't know if you can see the sparkle, but um, really, really fun way to do an image um, to show action. And then I added a little sentiment here called, uh, it says, Sending Snuggly Hugs. And then I added a little twine bow here as well. So really cute and quick and easy way to make a card. The second card I have to share with you uses this image here. It's called Christmas Treat Coffee Cup. And uh, Whippersnapper has quite a few of these uh, type of stamps where the coffee cup is the same, but just the uh, cozy or the sleeve uh, is decorated different. And so this one features a little gingerbread, a candy cane and a button and some holly. So real cute. And there's the stamp. And so the finished card I made looks like this. And again, this is some of that uh, doodle bug paper. And so the image is colored with some bright colors, cheerful colors. And then I did add uh, glitter to that candy cane and the frosting on the gingerbread as well. So very simple card. Um, on the button there on the coffee sleeve, I actually added a real button and a bow. So, and then on the inside, I stamped uh, time spent with you is all the therapy I need. And that's also a sentiment that's available from Whippersnapper. The next card um, I have to share uses this image and it's called Ginger in Mug. And so you can see that there's a button with some holly, a couple of candy canes, a little ornament here, a gingerbread and a mug. So really, really cute. There's that stamp. And the card that I made, um, again, uses some of that paper from Doodlebug. Um, at least I think this sheet is, I think this sheet is from that doodle bug pad. Um, but I thought it looked really cute with the candy canes there. And I did add lots of little glitter to the candy cane, the frosting on the gingerbread, and then the little pretty ornament down here at the bottom. So, and then I also added this little, um, uh, ribbon bow here and it wraps all the way around the front of the card and how I did that is I actually punched um, a hole here in the uh, fold of the card and that allowed me to thread the ribbon through so that it could actually um, come through the inside of the card and be nice and flat so and it looks like I need to stamp a sentiment on the inside of this card uh, the next card that I have to share with you features this stamp, and you've seen this stamp before here on my channel a couple of times. It's called Christmas Tart Tin, and I love this image. It's really fun to color, and uh, I think it's just a fun image to have for Christmas. So there's the uh, stamp there. And here's my finished card. And uh, again, I added glitter to some of the areas on the colored image, and I think it just looks makes makes it look really cute. So I added glitter to the star, the little balls on the tree, and the snowman's wings. 
and her little halo, and then to the candy cane too. So, and then I also added three little red jellies down here in the corner. So, really quick and easy card to make, to be honest. Uh, the next card that I have to share with you uh, features this image here. It's called Snow Buds. So you've got a little snowman here with a um, hat and scarf. You've got Santa wearing some sneakers or boots. And then you've got a little chicken here wearing a sweater, of course. <laughs> and there's the stamp there. And the card also uses paper from this authentic pad, which is not new. It's from 2018, um, but it's the Jingle Collection. And uh, this is just a really fun paper pad. It's kind of a vintage inspired images. Um, and there's some sweet images. There's Santa, candy canes. Um, there's some hot cocoa mugs, gingerbread, um, just a wide variety of imagery, um, but really pretty colors. and. Um, I love the vintage look of it, so um, one of my favorite Christmas pads. And here's the card that I made, and I used um, this olive-colored green cardstock um, as my card base because I really wanted to use this beautiful olive-colored seam binding that I got from Joanne from uh, Christmas. So thank you, Joanne. I love that ribbon, and I was absolutely sure to save it so I could use it on some coming upcoming projects. So here's the chicken. She's wearing a cute little blue and green sweater. I chose to use more subtle um, or toned down colors. So Santa's suit, instead of being a bright red, is kind of this subdued red. And then I used the same olive green from the cardstock in the uh, snowman's hat and scarf. And then I did add lots of really pretty glitter down at the bottom for the snow. And I wish the camera would pick up its really beautiful shine. But... Um, and then I did add a little uh, pearl button there with some twine. So I think that card is cute. And then on the inside, I stamped Sending Snuggly Hugs. So uh, the next card um, I have to share with you features, which is um, not a Christmas card, by the way. Uh, it features this image here. It's called Chicken Golf Cart. And this image was actually specifically requested by Lisa, who owns uh, Whippersnapper. And uh, she, she suggested chickens in a golf cart. So I said, OK, we'll have chickens in a golf cart. And here we are. So uh, I think the image turned out really fun. Um, I had a blast designing this particular design. And uh, there's the stamp there. And it also features this paper pad here. Um, I used one sheet uh, from, the, from this particular line. Um, this is called Hip Hip Hooray. And I used this yellow and white polka dot um, strip here. So let's see. This is from 2012. So really bright, cheerful colors um, with a birthday theme. So um, I love this paper pad. I think this is, yeah, this is the second paper pad. This is, these little pieces in here are what's left from the first paper pad that I've gone through. So um, I really love this paper pad. And actually this is um, one I think I gifted to Muriel, Miss Cooper's Coop for her birthday last year. Um, knowing that she really liked this paper pad as well. Um, so I popped one over to her for her birthday. Um, so here's the card. And you can see there the yellow and white polka dot paper there in the background. And then I used a grayish blue card base to kind of go with the uh, wheels and axle there. And then this chicken is to, as well. So those girls are just um, having a grand old time out there on the golf course. And they certainly are not keeping all four wheels on the tire or on the ground, if you'll notice. Getting a little crazy out there. <laughs> but again, I just stamped that image um, a little bit skewed and then, you know, made it look like there was a hill beneath, beneath them. And that's what made the, um, the action um, for this image. So I think it turned out really cute. I also used that glitter silver washi tape um, that I shared in my previous video. And then a really cute little metal button here that I threaded with some of my favorite twine. And then on the inside of this one, you know how I love puns. This one says, hope you get to party on your birthday. <laughs> ah, I love puns. So, um, and that sentiment is also available at Whippersnapper. And then the last card I have to share with you is uh, made using this chicken angel. And she's got really big, beautiful uh, wings, almost like butterfly wings. She's holding uh, one of her favorite little hens, and then she's got another favorite little hen down here by her feet. So I love this stamp as well. 
and it also uses um, a sheet of paper from this 6x6 paper pad. This is called Close Knit, and it's from Crate Paper. And this is an oldie but a goodie as well. It's from 2013, I believe, since I purchased it in 2014 at Tuesday morning. Um, but it is just a paper pad that has a lot of um, sewing um, or hand stitchery um, inspired imagery. So I love the colors. I like the vintage feel to it. Um, so just a really fun paper pad to have. So you might have this one in your stash too. And so here is my finished card. And I think this one might be my favorite of the bunch. Um, I just love the really cute um, soft pastel colors. Um, I love this uh, little lacy doily piece of paper in the background. And um, I added lots of glitter to her beautiful wings and colored her in those nice soft um, yellows and purples and blues. Um, I also added a piece of cotton lace here and a big uh, twine bow and then a really beautiful shell button. On the inside of this card, I stamp time spent with you is all the therapy I need. And then on the back side of the card, I had an extra piece of this paper, so I decided to adhere it to the back of the card. And then I also wrapped the cotton ribbon around, or the cotton lace around the back side of the card as well. So I hope you enjoyed my cards. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'm going to pop these over to um, Creative Pals and um, let them get them up on display in January. And uh, if you're in the area, please stop by. Um, Creative Pals is a wonderful, wonderful store and the family that owns it is just as wonderful. So thanks so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And until we chat again, take care. Bye.